Hey guys, it's me, Pink Lover, and I know you guys have been waiting for the Easter special. I haven't really gotten to it yet because I've been really busy lately, but I plan on uploading it tonight, and I'm almost done with it. So, but for now, just so you guys aren't, like, completely waiting, I'm doing something in two kind of parts. Um, Francine De La Paz told me about it, and um, I'm basically just doing, like, a thing where... I kind of put my own kind of spin on it though, but I'm doing like a thing where I show you all of my Lego friends' characters and animals and I explain to you like their names and what they like to do. Like especially if you're new to my channel or new to my videos and you don't really understand why I have characters like Paisley or like Keisha or Sophie or Candy and stuff like that. So I'll be able to explain to you stuff about them in this video. And then the next video that's going to come out is the Easter special. And then probably sometime tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a video on all the Lego sets that I have just to show you the ones I have, which is going to be a pretty quick video because I'm not really going to be talking, but yeah. Okay, so let's have you meet all of my Lego friends minifigures from Heart Lake City. So obviously you could see I have a background. It's just a bag because I'm at my grandma's house right now, but... I brought all of my minifigures and all my animals, so I'm just going to, like, at random pull them out of the bag. So the first minifigure I pulled out of the bag is Olivia's mother, Anna. And she is married to Olivia's father, Peter, who I'll see if I can get him out of the bag. So this is Anna and Peter, and they are Olivia's parents. Now, Anna, if you didn't know this, she is a doctor. They never really showed that in anything, Lego Friends. And he is, I think they said in the, like, in one of the Lego Friends books I have, I think they said he was a, something like a lawyer or something, but it also says that he likes to barbecue, like, and he likes watching TV. Next, I pulled Candy Mego out of the bag, and she is Emma, who came with Emma's lifeguard post set. But I just cut her hair with a scissor and painted it with like a really shiny metallic light pink nail polish. And that's what I did basically to a few other ones. But I gave her a pink bow that I think came with the set. And she is very, very pretty, I think. And she has a little bit of an attitude if you've seen her in some of my episodes. She's like a singer and an actress. Next up, I just pulled out somebody who's not a Lego Friends minifigure, but she is a Lego minifigure. I think she might have came with, like, um, a Lego camping set or something like that. But you guys know her as Sarah Fonde, and basically she is, like, a big-time producer, lawyer, actress, singer, like, a whole bunch of things, and she basically controls most of the things in Heart Lake City. Like, in some of my earlier episodes, like, um, she controlled the healthy food-making class that Olivia's mother took at the juice bar. She directed me as movies. She did a lot of stuff, and she's going to be doing a lot more. Next, I just randomly pulled out Miss Stevens, who came with Heart Lake High School. She is really the biology teacher, but because the high school only came with one teacher, I have been using her as the teacher for every class and basically kind of like a principal and stuff and I just had her organize a lot and I'm pretty sure she is like the only teacher that was ever featured in like Lego Friends webisodes or like the computerized ones that they did on Disney Channel and stuff like that. Next I pulled out Lulu who is supposed to be the Hawaiian girl that moved to Heart Lake City recently and she started going to school at Heart Lake High and she's really, really shy, but she is gorgeous. She is Andrea and she does have Andrea's hair, obviously, but I just painted her hair with gold nail polish, so it's like a golden kind of like pretty color. And she's wearing tropical colored um, skirt with a pretty magenta pink shirt with some tropical flowers and cute little sandals. Next, I pulled out Matthew, who came with Heart Lake High School as one of the students. He's been featured in tons of my episodes. Um, 
starting out, he was Olivia's boyfriend, now he's Stephanie's boyfriend, and there's going to be a lot more with him coming up later in this season and then the start of season three. And he's basically just your basic kid. He doesn't really have any, like, special talents that I made him have or anything, but he is wearing a green button-down shirt and just blue jeans, it looks like. And he is darker skinned with brown eyes and black kind of like wispy hair. Next, I pulled out a little dog that I just reviewed recently that came with the Sunshine Harvest set. And I named him or her Spots. And it has a cute little bow on top, a blue bow. And it's just basically a white dog with brown spots and blue eyes. There's really nothing interesting about it. And I haven't really done much with this dog yet. Next I pulled out Jasmine, and it's pretty rare I ever used her. I really don't recall anything recent where I used her in a video. I mean, she's basically just like one of those background people that doesn't really do anything. But I'm pretty sure I tried to include her in Season 3 to make up for all the lost time. Um, she came with Emma's sports car, I believe. She is Emma, obviously, and I just cut her hair and put a bow in her hair. And she has a cute little tank top with a blue flower around the neckline and cute little sneakers. Next I pulled out Marie and she came with the Heart Lake City Cafe and she has blonde hair. It is Emma's hair except it's just blonde and she is wearing a pink kind of like diner outfit from like the 50s or something like the waitresses would have worn. She has brown eyes and she is pretty pale skinned, but she's a nice southern girl who works at the cafe with Andrea. Next, I pulled out Mia, and I love Mia. I think she's a really great character, and she's been like the main star in the past couple of my Lego Friends episodes with her movie and all the stress and worries that come in with being an actress. But she also does work at the Heart Lake Pet Salon, so. She's wearing a um a blue halter top tank top with little butterflies and a paw print and then she's wearing green capri pants with um pink butterflies and then just purple flip-flops. And she's the only character that I have with a ponytail and I think it's really cute and she has little freckles. She's a really good character. Next, I pulled out the dolphin that came with Emma's lifeguard post set, and I named her Dolly, and I gave her a little pink bow, which is where her blowhole is supposed to be, but I just wanted to put a bow because pretty much everything with Lego Friends has to have a bow. She has cute little blue eyes with little winged eyelashes, like she has mascara on or something, and she's just kind of like a pale blue dolphin, but she's really cute. Next, I pulled out the dog that came with um, the Heart Lake Pet Salon, and she has blue eyes and a pretty sparkly pink and silver collar. This is a poodle, and she has a nice purple bow. Next, I grabbed Joanna, who works at the Heart Lake Pet Salon, and in Mia's movie debut episodes, I think... I let out that she is supposed to be Matthew's older sister. In the real Lego friend stuff, I really don't think she is, but she does look a lot like him with the dark hair and the dark skin and the brown eyes and stuff. So I just said that she was, so it looks like somebody has a relative. She is wearing capris, and they are a nice hot pink color, and then she's wearing a yellow tank top with like a tribal design on it, and she has little pink lipstick. And then just some pink and white sli like slippers or slip-on shoes, something like that. Next, I pulled Paisley. And Paisley, you just recently saw in my Sunshine Harvest review. She is Olivia with cut hair. I cut this little piece of hair that would have been on her forehead. And I cut, obviously, the length of the hair. And Paisley works at the Sunshine Harvest. And... She is just a very sweet and basic girl. I don't really know why her accent is the way I made it like that, but I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of cool. 
I just, I guess I kind of ran out of voices to think of, and that just kind of happened one day when I made the first episode I used Paisley. Next, I pulled out another dog, and it is a poodle again, and this time its collar is just um, a two-toned purple ascot-looking thing, and it has, like, blue-green eyes and a pink little bow on top. I'm not really sure what set it came from. It might have been, like, the Poodle Palace or something like that. Next, I pulled out Sophie, and Sophie is the only other Stephanie I have, believe it or not. I plan on getting Stephanie's Pizzeria sometime soon, so then I will have another Stephanie, but this is my first ever Stephanie, actually, but I cut her hair because I liked the Stephanie that came with Heart Lake High School. I liked her outfit and stuff better, so I just cut this one's hair, and this is Sophie, and she is supposed to be... A nice girl from Australia that moved to Heart Lake City and now attends Heart Lake High with Olivia and Keisha and all of her other friends. And she has a little blue hair bow and a nice plaid tank top shirt with purple skirt and pink and purple slip-on shoes. This is Emma. I love Emma. She's probably like one of my favorites. I love the purple. I love the blue. I love her eyes. I love everything about her, and she's a really nice person, and she loves art. And she is one of the main characters, and she has a little purple bow, and her shirt is really nice with silver and stuff. Next, I pulled out the lamb from Stephanie's Newborn Lamb, and that is the set that I actually got Sophie from. And this little lamb has a cute little um, pink nose, which looks like it's kind of in the shape of a heart, and then it has little... Dark blue eyes with cute little eyelashes, and it's textured to be like a sheep or a lamb with like the very cotton ball-y kind of fur. Then I pulled Andrea, and she works at the Heart Lake Cafe. She loves to sing. She's a really good singer, and she always sings at like major events at school and major events at the Heart Lake stage. And she's always singing around work, and she's a great waitress at the cafe. And she has green eyes and darker skin, and she has brown, extremely curly hair. And she has little music notes on her tank top, too. Next, we have Keisha, which, as you guys know, is crazy, super-duper crazy girl. She has um, purplish pinkish sandals, a white tank top with a music note necklace. She is Andrea, which I just cut her hair. So everything is the same about her except her personality and her hair. Keisha is probably the one that everybody looks at and just knows is crazy, whether they know her or not. And I love Keisha. She's a great character, and my friend plays her. Sometimes I do play her when, obviously, my friend's not over. But she's a crazy girl with a lot on her mind, and she just does whatever she wants. And she does get in some trouble for that, but... She pulls herself out of it with the help of her good friends. Next, we have the original Olivia that came with Olivia's house set that I got. It was the first Lego Friends set that was big that I ever got. The first two sets I got were Andrea's bedroom and Stephanie's newborn lamb, and that's kind of how I got all excited and kind of got a lot into this Lego Friends stuff. So she has, like, hazel-colored eyes, very pale skin, a pink bow in her hair, very light purple shoes, like a lavender colored skirt, a pink tank top with a bunch of little hearts, and she has like a reddish brownish curly hair. But Olivia's super sweet and she always loves helping people. And she lost her cat Kitty, but then she got a new cat. And she was dating Matthew, but now she's single. Next up we have Phoebe, and I love her outfit. She is Emma, once again, she is Emma, with just brown nail polish on her hair, and the length, everything about the hair is the same, except for the color. She does have her green eyes, and I just really love this outfit with the navy blue shirt with the flowers and a cute little necklace, and then the plain white shoes and a cute little light pink skirt. It's a really cute outfit, and Phoebe is very soft-spoken, and her best friend is Lulu. Next up, we have Naya, who is out of high school and works at the Heart Lake City Juice Bar. She has blonde hair. It's the same mold as Olivia's hair, except it's blonde. 
She also has freckles just like Mia and she has brown eyes and she's wearing, I'm pretty sure they're like the same exact shoes as Olivia, right? Yeah, they're the same exact shoes as Olivia and also the same exact skirt as Olivia. <laughs> and then she just has a white tank top, except it only has one sleeve. And it has a bunch of silver dots, and then it has a little star with a little belt. Very cute. And Naya is a super awesome worker at the juice bar, and she makes some of the best juices, and everybody goes there just for them. Next up, we have a hedgehog that I got in the little hedgehog set from Lego Friends. It has a cute little purple bow, and it has a really cute little face. I think it was like Hedgehog Hideaway or Hedgehog Hideout was the name of the set. And again, it has textured fur, and it's really cute. Finally, we got on to Stephanie now, and she is from the Heart Lake High set. And it's just your basic Stephanie with um, a long sleeve, like, fancy shirt on with a pink shirt underneath and purple skirt and pink and purple shoes. And she has her gorgeous blue eyes and her bangs and her really cute little hairstyle. I really like Stephanie and she's really nice and she's currently dating Matthew. Now we're on to Andrea's bunny named Jazz and it came in the bunny, um, one of the little bunny sets from Lego Friends. It has a really adorable little face with little eyelashes and I love the like position it's in where it's like in a cute little thing like ooh give me a carrot. Next up we have Olivia's current cat. I. Right now I'm like blanking out what she named it. I think it was like Fifi or something. And it came with Emma's sports car set. Last but not least, it's Olivia's old cat that she named Kitty. But now this cat just kind of hangs out at the Heart Lake City Animal Rehab and Care Center. So thank you so much for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And now you know a lot more than you did about all the characters and all the little animals that I have for my Lego friends. And I hope you're looking forward to the Easter special coming up tonight. And I hope you're looking forward to the video on all of the Lego friends sets that I have that I will be posting probably tomorrow morning or like in the early afternoon. So this time I will definitely see you in the Easter special. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below if there's any certain videos you would like to see me do on my channel. Bye!